Prior to the beginning of the 20th century, the economy of Beaumont, Texas was derived primarily from agriculture and lumber. Although the lumber industry had brought a degree of prosperity to the area, the real future still lay slumbering under a salt mound southwest of Beaumont known as Spindletop. For many years prior to the Lucas Gusher, there were those who dreamed of a treasure of crude oil lying just below the surface. One of the most notable of these was Captain George O'Brien, whose Civil War company was encamped at Spindletop. He was intrigued by the appearance of globules of petroleum on the surface of the nearby waters. He also heard the hiss of gases escaping from the earth. Captain O'Brien never forgot this experience and several years later was to become a part of early attempts to drill in the area. It was the insight of a young Beaumont businessman and self-taught geologist named Patillo Higgins, however, that eventually led to the history-making event known as the Lucas Gusher. In 1892, the persistent Higgins recruited two Beaumont businessmen, Captain George O'Brien and G.W. Carroll, to become financial partners in a venture known as the Gladys City Company. Their goal was to drill for oil at Spindletop. After a failed attempt due to faulty drilling equipment, the discouraged Higgins left the company in 1895. The company went on to make two more attempts after Higgins left, which also proved unsuccessful. Before he left, Higgins had placed an ad in a trade journal which had come to the attention of an Austrian-born mining engineer, Captain Anthony Lucas. After surveying the area, Lucas also became convinced that oil lay beneath the surface at Spindletop.